Hi guys, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorials episode. Uh, today's going to be a quick video about how to add a rank lock to your script uh, because a lot of you guys have requested that. So the first thing we're going to do is choose which morph we want to rank lock and all we're going to do is we are going to click that little plus button, type in number value, type rank and then put the rank number. So if you don't know what the rank number is, you can come over to your groups here, click group admin, and click roles, and your rank number is what falls into this right category here. So now that we have that done, uh, let's put it 255, whatever. You can just, uh, you just put the rank in any morph or uniform that you want to be associated with that rank. Um, if you don't put a rank like value inside your morph, then the program is just going to recognize it as anybody can use that morph. So you only put this in if you want it to be rank locked. And anybody above this rank number will also be allowed to use the uniform. So it's that number and above. So to test this, we can, or to add into our script, I guess, come over to your local script in your client or your star GUI. I'm going to change the date. To Jan, you airy what's it, 31st? It was 2018 now. Um, and we're gonna scroll down all the way to hmm, where we're we gonna go. We're gonna go that far to here. Yes, it is here. We're going to do if v3 find first child rank. And we're just going to copy and paste this. Or actually, no, we're going to click. Then we're going to do then. Then we're going to copy and paste that. Oops, so we're going to do if that dot value then. And we are going to do player get rank in group. Um, divisions i dot group id and bigger equals to. And then we're going to copy and we're going to get rid of all this. I think that's all of it. Yeah. And we're going to put it inside this. I'm going to highlight that all again and click tab twice. Or sorry, three times? No, just twice. Oops, wrong button. Just tab twice to move it all over. And there we go. So now it's going to look to see if they're in the ranks specific to that group. Sorry, if they are the ranks specific to that group. And then it will give them the morph if they are. So let's test that. It's not working. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Copy all that. Put it after this. Do if allowed, then. We're going to make a new variable called allowed. Uncle's false. Oh, crap, I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Copy all that. And we're going to put it after this. So you should have that like this. And we're going to put it after that, the rest of this code here. Highlight all of it. Hit Shift Tab twice to move it. Or sorry, just Shift Tab once to move it over. And there. And then we're up here we're gonna do local allowed equals true. Just yeah, so we're gonna do that. Okay, now it should work. Um I think it's working. I'm just gonna put wolfy two in here. Sorry, wolf two and remove the rank. 
So when we click 104th, we should see wolf 2 and not wolf 1. There we go. So we just see wolf 2 and it works fine. So there you guys go. That's a rank lock script. It should work for all of your divisions. Uh, one more thing. If you guys want to have like a standard trooper, so just like just n like normal clone or whatever. Um, you come up here to your divisions library and we are going to make a new division and we're going to just name it normal clone and then we're just going to give it the same group ID as our main group. So any any morph in here will just be for normal clones, like just normal clone uniforms. Alright, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down and put a comment in the description saying why you didn't like it so I can make my videos better in the future. Alright, see you guys in the next video.